we're probably one of the most successful teams in the Wilson Center. We've won nine out of the past 11 world championships, and we've won four straight um, for the past four years. Every year, University of Michigan students design, manufacture, and test over a thousand parts in a quest to build the perfect all-terrain Baja race car. Every year we're iterating on our previous design and finding ways to make it better based on like failures we saw during testing or during competition. Then they push their vehicle to the extreme. They test it for speed, toughness, and maneuverability. The suspension system gets its own day in hell. The same goes for the four-wheel drive. As an engineer, I've grown so much. It's, it's just crazy how a year ago, this was the whole car you see right now. It's just, a bunch of ideas coming from like 20 people. Four votes is in this corner. The soft skills is definitely like communication. Paul, did you have anything else? Time management. Other than that, no. Project management. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, winning is what our goal is and what we strive for every single year. This year, the first competition is in Gorman, California, a historic way station where three mountain ranges meet. Baja SAE California is a four-day showdown. It starts with inspections and static events, including business, cost, and design presentations. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Linnea Lindblom, and I'm the captain of the Baja Racing. That experience on Baja, designing components that actually get manufactured, is like huge and prepares you for industry significantly better than any class could. At the beginning, you talked about acceleration time as a high level goal. You talked very. It's gonna pass. Easy money. We got this. Michigan placed first of the 61 teams after the static events. The team is building a car, however, you are only building a certain part of that car. So it's super important to be able to communicate with everyone else on your team and make sure that your designs are compatible with each other, they are interfacing correctly with each other. Today is the dynamic day. That means that we have four different uh, small events that we have to compete in. Dynamic day tests the car's hill climbing, maneuverability, suspension, and acceleration. <laughs> Our four wheel is not disengaging very well. So we're going to put a different driver in and see if they can muscle through it. I've, I think, always kind of thought of engineering as you have a problem and you're gonna figure out how to solve it. And I think that's ultimately what Baja is. How are we gonna solve this problem that we have? Yeah, we started with hill climb. And yeah, had issues from the beginning with four wheel drive. And then, yeah, I just spent most of the mid-afternoon just trying to solve four-wheel drive issues before maneuverability. Hold on. Out. In. Out. In. You know, there's always stuff that you don't expect to happen. Try and lock his brake, like, that you don't really foresee. It is hard and it's, you know, frustrating sometimes. We're still having problems with the car shifting in and out of four-wheel drive. For maneuverability, we took 11th, well, currently 11th place. Being 
that we are very heavily a design-based team. Creativity is pretty huge for design. Making sure everything can integrate together, everything works together is huge. However, we don't and we don't spend as much time on it as we probably should, which is a lot of the reasons why we run into all these issues when we're trying to put the car together and things don't fit well. Michigan comes in 17th at the hill climb and 12th in maneuverability. Yeah, each four corner needs adjustments. So we're gonna do that real quick. Go to a practice shack and then go to this. Oh, the team needs to do well at the suspension event to keep its chances of winning in California alive. Suspension traction event, we were able to finish, and we're one of the I think four cars total that have finished it, which is awesome. Um, super, super happy. We needed this really, really bad. Uh, this is a good mood booster, and then it'll help us carry this into tomorrow. And uh, yeah, yeah, very excited now. We're back. We're so back. <laughs> Teamwork is the biggest thing when it comes to Baja because you can't build a car on your own. That in a year, especially, that's physically impossible. I think that's very important in learning how everyone has a place in the team and everyone has a specific job and everyone's the best at that specific job and without it we're not going to be as good as we could be. Based off of Excel yesterday uh, we got placed in second so our starting lineup is we're going to start behind the first place. Uh, endurance is 40% of the points so it's very important to stay on track the whole race if you stay on track, your chances of winning shoot up very high. So we have four hours of wheel to wheel racing. Usually we're on, on track for almost all four hours and don't have any component failures, so hopefully we'll be able to repeat that. Definitely it takes grit and resilience to be able to get through all the issues that just come with trying to build a car especially like we are college students, so we don't know everything there is. So just being able to stick with it and grind through those problems, work together as a team to solve it and get past it, definitely requires a huge amount of resilience. Seven laps uh, behind first place right now. We all had some issues uh, with the engine. We are probably still having those issues, so I don't, I don't know if we're going to be making up time, but fingers crossed. So um, our um, our rear brake went way early in the race, and that was okay because we could still stop with the front brakes. 
now it sounds like our front brakes are starting to lock up. We're having trouble with our like brakes not disengaging. So we're losing a lot of power for that. It's possible he was on the brakes pretty hard, like you could hear it from a good distance away. That was the rear's problem. Essentially the front brake rotor, we're not sure how, but it got bent and it destroyed the front caliper and broke a hole in it. So we lost all of our brake fluid, so we pretty much had no brakes. So we had to swap the whole front hub, uh, the front caliper, and also replace the rear line, the rear brake line. And a crisscross pattern! Right. Go, 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 go. Who's pushing? Push. Turn around. Try to get out of the, the University of Michigan Baja team finishes the overall competition in fourth. I guess it was just the most frustrating part was knowing this car could do a lot better. But I, I've learned a lot this year. I think the main point that I've learned is test things as much as possible. Driving time before competition is extremely valuable. Maybe we could have caught things beforehand if we had more driving time. I really value my time on Baja just because I've got to meet people, make friends. I've gotten to actually apply what I learned on a physical opponent. Can't imagine what I'd be like not on the team. I think you learn a lot more from failure than you do from success. That's kind of why we have behind here in the cage a wall of all of our broken parts as a reminder like, hey, we, you know, we've had a lot of hard times and that's what's made us so competitive, so resilient, and so knowledgeable. And that is super helpful for not only, you know, the team this year, but all future teams 